constitutional structures to operate optimally. So when the southern governors are asking for restructuring, you're throwing back to them mm. that they need to go and restructure their state. Is that what you're saying? It's truly, because they cannot deny, for example, the local government to operate optimally. They cannot deny the autonomy of the legislature, state legislature, and state judiciary, and still be clamoring for restructuring. What structuring are you talking about? But those of uh, those who have, uh, for example, let's take one item at a time. Yes. The issue of devolution of power. Yes. Do you think that the federal government carries too much? The concurrent and the exclusive legislative list, do you think that that should be tampered with? All powers, all powers are indeed embedded in financial autonomy. What have they done to allow the local government structures to operate optimally? Take, for example, a situation whereby a local government council is entitled, among others, to participate in the security arrangement of a state. And then the local government council chairman is denied of the fund to run the local government. With the fund, he can now deploy the resources down to the village head, down to some other associations operating with it. But now you deny him the resources available to make them available to a bleach head. Even if a bleach head has intelligence report about a criminal existing within the society, he is denied of the limited resources that he could use to come over to the local government council chairman to notify him, for the local government council chairman to come over to the state DSS headquarters, for example, or the police to notify. Then what are you talking about? So you will not advise the president to listen to those calls for restructuring? They should address it at their own level first, and then let us see what happened before now coming over to the president. It's not about the president. It's about denial of the functionality of the structures at the bottom, uh, I mean, at the lower level. And that is what, indeed, restructuring is all about. If you allow the state legislature to operate optimally, the checks and balances required will be there. If you allow the local government council to operate optimally, the necessary development in terms of devolution of powers are there. But once you deny them the, the resources to operate, the autonomy to operate, then certainly you cannot, uh, you, uh, you do not have a legitimate right to clamor, to perhaps agitate for any restructuring. So, because you are not a believer in allowing the process to operate optimally in terms of taking its natural course. So for you, restructuring call is dead on arrival. I don't even understand what they are talking about restructuring so what, what, against the background of denial of the other existing structures to operate. So uh, they also called, that they asked and they said, mm -hmm. actually, that they've banned open grazing across southern region of the country. Mm -hmm. What's your view on that? Well, uh, it's about constitutionality. Within the context of the freedoms expressed in our constitution, enshrined in our constitution, can you deny a right of a Nigerian? For example, it's as good as saying, um, perhaps maybe the northern governors coming together to say that they prohibit uh, spare parts trading in the notes. Does it hold water? Does it hold water for a northern governor to come and state expressly that he now prohibits spare parts trading in the north? But when the governors came together and said, this is the problem that we've seen, and this is the solution, and they felt, look, the solution will be stop the open grazing across the land, uh, look, stop the transportation by foot of uh, cattle. If you are talking of a constitutionally guaranteed right, the better approach to it is to perhaps you have spoken earlier about the constitutional amendment, is to go back to ensure the constitution is amended. The constitution freedom and liberty of movement, among others, is established by the constitution. If by an inch you want to have any compromise over it, the better approach is go, to go back to the National Assembly. Open grazing should be prohibited. And see whether you can have the desired, perhaps, uh, support for the constitutional amendment in that respect. But it is indeed a dangerous position for any governor in Nigeria to think that he can bring about any compromise, any compromise on the freedom and liberty of individuals to move around.